Authorities searched a rugged, hilly area of southeastern Kentucky on Sunday for a man suspected of shooting 12 vehicles and wounding five people on a busy interstate. Joseph A. Couch, 32, was named a suspect in Saturday's shootings on Interstate 75 after authorities said they recovered his SUV on a service road near the crime scene. They later found a semi-automatic weapon nearby that they believe was used in the shooting, said Deputy Gilbert Acciardo, a spokesperson for the Laurel County Sheriff's Office. The search was focused on a remote area north of London, a community of about 8,000 people some 75 miles south of Lexington. Where is he? That's the big question right now, Acciardo told reporters as law enforcement searched a heavily wooded area before sunset. We're still in there. We still feel like that he's in there or we obviously wouldn't be searching wholeheartedly like we are. The search was temporarily suspended after nightfall Sunday evening but was set to resume early Monday morning. State Police Master Trooper Scotty Pennington, a spokesman for the London State Police Post, said additional troopers are being brought in from around the state to bolster the manhunt. At an evening press conference, Authorities sought to reassure residents that they believe the suspect will be found. Couch most recently lived in Woodbine, a small community about 20 miles south of the shooting scene. Acciardo said authorities found his abandoned vehicle Saturday and then an AR-15 rifle on Sunday in a wooded area near a highway where he could have shot down upon the interstate from. A phone believed to be Couch's was found by law enforcement, but the battery had been taken out. Authorities said Couch purchased the gun and about 1,000 rounds of ammunition Saturday morning in London. Couch has a military background, having served in the National Guard for at least four years, said Captain Richard Dalrymple of the Laurel County Sheriff's Office. Couch was initially considered a person of interest in the case until he was upgraded to a suspect on Sunday, Acciardo said. Authorities believe there was only one shooter. Acciardo said the shooting appeared to involve some planning but seemed to be a random act of violence in which no particular person was targeted. He wouldn't speculate as to a possible motive. We're still trying to ascertain how much preparation he put into this. We searched his house this evening. We have a lot of stuff from that. A lot of devices that we're going to download, Dalrymple later commented. Authorities were notified at about 5.30 p.m. Saturday about gunshots near the interstate's exit 49. An individual who was off that exit fired multiple rounds into the northbound and southbound lanes. Authorities initially said nine vehicles were struck by gunfire, but later increased that number to 12, saying some people did not realize their cars had been hit by bullets until they arrived home. Dalrymple said it appears the gunman fired a total of 20 to 30 rounds. The gunman was not in a vehicle at the time of the shooting. The wounded one person from Kentucky and others from out of state were hospitalized in a stable condition. We did have a shooter. Uh, at the exit 49. Uh, there have been five victims that's confirmed. Um, I think they're all going to be uh, okay. It's nothing. I don't think we're going to have no fatalities. Just keep, like I say, when I open, keep all of them in your prayers. There was a shooter. It appears that he was using an AR-15 as the primary weapon. Uh, we have uh, located uh, evidence at the scene. We know where the shots uh, was fired from, uh, his location, uh, some cartridges, a gun, and a vehicle. He could be sitting, and you know we're not going to be sitting ducks in the woods. But we did have uh, snipers that was on point uh, that stayed at scene all night last night, uh, looking at the ridge where the shots was fired from. He obtained a firearm at a, uh, at a uh, local place uh, here in London, but it was obtained you know, legally. He went through the ATF, he went through all the proper paperwork, and uh, we, have, uh, we, have the paper, we have that paperwork, copies of the receipts, uh, but that was obtained, you know, like, uh, you know, if you're not a felon or something, you know, if you can go in and fill the paperwork, anyone can uh, purchase the guns.
When was that? That was yesterday. It's just really, really rough terrain. A lot of cliffs, uh, mountains. Uh, it, it's really rough terrain. But uh, I don't know if anybody got a better. There, there's thousands of acres. I mean, I can't tell you exactly how many acres. There's just thousands of acres. It's yep. a big area, very secluded. He's uh, originally from the Knox Whitley County area, and uh, he's. He does have a military background. He served in the National Guard for at least four years, and he was a member of the Engineer Battalion. We're still trying to ascertain how much preparation he put into this. We searched his house this evening. Um, we have a lot of stuff from that, a lot of uh, devices that we're gonna download. We know we have 12 vehicles hit and multiple rounds in most of those vehicles, and I know from the brass that I saw this morning, 20 to 30 is my best guess, but I didn't count.